Hi guys, this is Over from Cytron Technologies. Today I'd like to talk about two aluminium case for Raspberry Pi 4B. This is aluminium case come with cooling fan and also two small bracket that enable you to mount the whole case and Raspberry Pi at the back of a monitor. So this is a monitor and normally it comes with a Versa mounting hole. So this is 75mm with 75mm. So this bracket enable this enclosure or case to mount it on the back of the monitor. Okay. So without wasting any time, let me show you how to assemble it. So let me show you the outlook of the assembler version. So you can access to all the port, Ethernet port, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, audio and video composite jack, the two micro HDMI, the USB type C for the power. You can still access to the micro SD card. And there's hole for the power and also activity LEDs. Okay, over here. There's a gap for the cable of uh, GPIO to extend it out. So at the top, as I said, you have a lot of ventilation space, hole, and also mounting hole for the cooling fan. At the back, you have a lot of uh, holes for ventilation and a mounting for the two backrests. So let me show you how to assemble it from here to here. The first, I think it's good for you to have a small Phillips screwdriver. You can open this up, put this screw aside. So this is the top lid or the cover with the side of the USB and Ethernet port. I put this aside. So you have a cooling fan inside here and also some mounting screw. I think this is for to mount the backhead and also to mount the Raspberry Pi to this board or to this case. So let me put this aside. Now let's, I think let's mount the cooling fan first. So I take out the fan. The cooling fan should be mount underneath the top cover. So the top cover should be here where this is the USB or Ethernet port. So the cooling fan should be mounted here. And the cable should be enough for you to connect to the GPIO. Okay. So I mount the cooling fan over here. So depending on your preference, uh, the fin will actually turn in this direction. Okay. I'll prefer the cooling fan to blow the air into or onto the CPU. So I mount the cooling fan in this way so that it will blow the air into the or onto the Raspberry Pi. So let me put this aside. I'll keep the extra screw. Of course, you can mount all four screw, fasten all four screw, but two is good enough for me. Now let mount this. Remember, remove the micro SD card first. So slot the Raspberry Pi 4B into here first. Make sure all the port is inside the hole. Okay, adjust it a bit and press the other end down okay okay and make sure the hole all four hole is aligned mounting hole now take the screw who provided this now I mean, this one the short screw uh, we will need it we will need at least two to secure the Raspberry Pi board onto the case Okay, good. Now, 
make sure you connect the wire, the weight, 5 foot, weight to the 5 foot of GPIO and the black to the ground. So it should be pin number 4 and number 6. Okay, and sure the wire is underneath it. So before I secure it, I'd like to point out that uh, there's quite a, still a lot of space for extra heat sink if you like to put extra heat sink. Okay. So securing it, make sure there's two notch over here that you need to press a bit. Okay. It's done. So that's all. Then you can put back the micro SD card. So it's done now, at least for stage one. So if you like to mount it to the back of monitor, for example this one, you know, mount here, you need to fasten the two backets. So to mount this to the back of monitor, you need some extra screw. I recommend using M4 screw, the one I have here, size M4. It's quite standard. So depending on how you want to mount the Raspberry Pi, I prefer all the wire to come out from the bottom towards the bottom of the monitor so I just secure the bracket with two screw and here we are so all the HDMI the USB-C and the audio jack is over here the USB Ethernet is over here I don't need a GPIO and is fan cooling okay that's all so hopefully this is helpful and if you like to check out the product or the case make sure to check the description I'll put the link under the video as always thanks for watching and bye